Hello, my name is Sasha, and I'm a co-founder of the project 99Recycle. We recycle plastic, and I'm going to tell you more about our project. We are called 99Recycle, because 99% of our items are made of recycled materials. Our project has existed for about two and a half years. Initially, there were three co-founders and we were thinking about how plastic is recycled globally, whether it's recycled at all and whether anybody needs it. We were trying to understand how interesting it was. We had some technical background because we finished physico-mathematical schools. So we felt excited about assembling machines for plastic recycling. When constructing the machines, we relied on the experience of the Precious Plastic Project. It's a project in the Netherlands founded by Dave Hackens. He created a way of restructuring enormous plastic molding plants into machines that would fit in your garage. We assembled similar devices and started to collect some analogs of industrial machines in our co-founder's garage. We started with shredder, injector, and extruder. These are standard devices that can be used for plastic recycling in a garage. It took us half a year to build the machines and afterwards we had a full basic kit of equipment that we could use for recycling plastic that we had at home. Actually, the project's idea was to learn how to recycle our own plastic, then our friend's plastic, and then more and more, all plastic in the city. We started to produce various items. First, we learned to make interior tiles to mold badges. Then we started sewing bags, fanny packs, and backpacks. Thus, the brand 99Recycle appeared, which specializes on furniture, interior design, bags, accessories, skateboards, and a lot of other things. A lot of our friends worked on the machines that we had constructed. It was some kind of a voluntary activity. A lot of students, our friends, would come to us after work and help create the necessary items or the items that they considered important. It was something like an amateur workshop. After a while, we received a grant from FASIE, Foundation for Assistance to Small Innovative Enterprises, for the development of a large format 3D printer printing furniture from recycled plastic. During the workshopping process, more and more people joined us. They were from various spheres, designers, engineer students, etc. We have three directions of production. The first is called basic production. It's the production of furniture, skateboards, badges, figurines, and so on of recycled plastic bottle caps. We buy bottle caps from the project Bottle Caps of Kindness. They gather caps from kindergartens and schools around the whole city, sort them according to colors and type of plastic, clean them, and then give identically colored caps to our production. On having received the caps, the first thing we do is grind them on the shredder to get plastic crumb. We have several machines for plastic crumb recycle. One of them is a big thermal press. We constructed it ourselves. It helps us produce huge plastic sheets from 1.5 to 2.5 meters, from 2 millimeters to 4 centimeters thick. Various objects can be cut from such sheets, for instance, tabletops, figurines, chair pads, etc. Also, such panels may be used in their initial state for interior design. Some of these sheets are hung in our live laboratory. The next machine that recycles crumb is an extruder. It melts crumb into a plastic rod that can either be wound on some forms and made into plafonds and pots, or filled in the mold in order to make any sort of badges. We also produce skateboards by baking them in the oven and pressing on our own press. All our products may be marked, branded, and fulfilled in the customer's brand colors. The second part of our production is a large format 3D printer that we use for creating large-scale objects. It may produce objects of small architectural forms like chairs or pots to objects the size of a bus stop. The third direction is sewing production, where we sew bags from recycled plastic bags, as well as from the waste of trampoline and boat production. Hello, we are 99Recycle and now we're in the sewing sector of our company. A year ago, the number of people in the whole team equaled the number of the present workers here. We have 11 people in our fantastic team and soon two more are probably coming. A year ago, when the quarantine started, we went into lockdown and took all the sewing equipment, sector, hardware, warehouse and material stocks to my house in my room. 
All the shedding, packaging and shipping of goods took place there until we returned to the normal work process. A year has passed and we've grown up to a large production. We have a large sector of 260 square meters. For us, this is a huge progress. Our productivity and crew have increased. Now we can recycle even more materials. So what are we working with? Our major materials are PVC from production of tents, boats, trampolines and inflatable attractions. The material is very strong and durable, but unfortunately it's non-recyclable. It doesn't decompose either, so it just lies in the junkyards. We take it and sew backpacks of high quality, bags and all possible accessories. We get the unsorted material, which is basically sacks with scraps. As the scraps come from huge objects like inflatable boats, these scraps are large and suitable for further usage by companies. We put the entire cut of our items in them. Here, PVC is sorted with the hands of our volunteers and colleagues. Everything is in this sector. We sort PVC due to density, color, quantity, and arrange it so that it's convenient to be worked with after. Then it's pressed and cut. We aim to optimize all the processes, but of course, we face some challenges and extraordinary situations because we work with scraps. Scraps are not the same as finished rolls that can be easily counted, but we are ready to overcome obstacles and find creative solutions. It's a whole other level of interest in a stable and responsible production maintenance. I mean, we can create a lot of ideas and develop them, not being restricted by our production volume. Our second material is recyclable bags. We get all materials from the St. Petersburg companies that are ready to cooperate with us. We take bags in large volumes from companies that are engaged in the recycling of clothing and charity. We also work with the customers' materials. Often people come to us with their own banners or leftovers from the materials. It can be textile, PVC, some non-standard materials or packages. We always think about how we can work with it, what we can come up with, what kind of production to make, whether it's possible to make what the customer wants. Often these are very interesting queries that remain to us. This is how it goes. The client comes with their own vision and material, we decide how to fulfill the idea, and as a result get an interesting product or a new interesting technology for ourselves and a unique solution for the client. For example, last summer we worked on pillows and we made their internal covers from the truck tires covers, which were provided by our partner Tireman Group. We continue our collaboration and make new projects for them. Currently we have several projects in development with Baltic Industrial Symbiosis. For example, we're working on textile pillows which have different materials, but they'll also be 99% recycled. In addition, we're making interior panels for them, which means using all our opportunities in plastic recycling, sewing sector and our creative ideas. Apart from collaborations with wonderful companies, we develop our own retail brand, which everything started with. We love it and we want to make it better to represent it to our partners. It's our feature, because when people come, they see how we treat our brand. It's not only about accessories, bags, backpacks. It's also about self-awareness and conscious approach to creating items. We work hard on combining quality and design with responsible and stable production. Moreover, through our retail brand, we speak about our ideology, values, aspirations, the direction we're taking. It's important for us to know that people who want to work with us behind bags and backpacks see the whole 99 Recycle brand. My name is Vasily Frolov. I do cooperative collaboration at 99 Recycle. Due to my post, I communicate a lot with the representatives of large business, and I see it clearly that secondary material products are in high demand. It can be merchandise, interior production, art objects. The idea of recycling is truly relevant nowadays. Many brands, especially international, aim at keeping their CGR high, and responsible production becomes the foundation of their corporate culture. Secondary materials and design are our strong points, and high customization is the reason why we're actively growing, developing, and willing to create new products and projects. Thus, one of the projects is a collaboration with Living Lab. We've already made interior design for them, and now we plan to make cushions for their lectorium, which are going to be mostly from secondary materials. 
We are current members of Baltic Industrial Symbiosis, among with our partners, such as Tireman Group, Busha Company, whom we had a productive cooperation experience with. We are actively growing and developing. We see the growth areas at our company and in the market, so we are aware of what we can offer. If you have any ideas or interesting projects, we'll be glad to collaborate. We're always open to new perspectives. Apart from production, we're also engaged in education, eco-enlightenment. We use our own machines for outdoor workshops, master classes, and lectures. We arrange such events both for commercial purposes, shopping centers and other paid events, and for free education of children that we invite for voluntary excursions around our production. We want children to understand how important recycling is, how easy it is to create beautiful items from secondary plastic, and that it's possible for them to participate in this process. For example, recently we've had an interesting case. We held a two-month workshop at Beeline Zone, Sev Kabel Port in St. Petersburg. There, our extruder machines were making badges for visitors for two months. It was exciting for both children and parents. Our format is special, because we not only speak about the importance of ecology, we also show in practice the whole process of plastic recycling, from secondary materials to finished items. Also, the significant feature of our brand is the appeal of our products. We produce items that are wanted not just because of their recycled nature, but also due to their quality, competitiveness with primary raw material products, and unique design. In our production, like in any other, there is waste. All the waste that appears, skateboard scraps, rims from baking, we gather, grind, and use tertiary crumb in our recycling process. Thus, we get a non-waste production. Actually, we work not only with plastic, there's nothing about plastic in our name, but plastic is our major material. We also recycle textile. A lot of our items for important customers are made of secondary textile, and we collaborate with other projects in this sphere. We developed our large format 3D printer with the support from FASIE. The grant money accelerated our development. Thanks to the support, our production functions in all of these three directions. We print with secondary polystyrene. It's not really about yogurt packages, it's rather production waste, industrial secondary polystyrene. While printing, we add dye, which allows you to print any items of any color. Since the feature of our printer is the large format, printing big objects takes from one to three hours. We would really enjoy making a furniture collection for some art space or filling some city with exterior furniture, like the whole of St. Petersburg. It's important to mention that there are no analogs for such printers in Russia. There are some in the world though, but they differ in terms of characteristics. That's why our printer is an innovation of its kind. 3D printing means creating absolutely any objects. Therefore, object design may vary which is unusual on the one hand, but on the other, it allows to create an individual and recognizable style. Thank you for your attention. We are 99Recycle. Follow us on social media and track our development.